Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or indeed if you are new, welcome. Please do hit the like button and I would really appreciate it if you like what you see, you subscribe to my channel because it really helps to support it and it's just fab. Today's video is going to be, excuse me, it's right at my top. First of all, do you like my lipstick? I love it. It's from my new, oh, let me grab it. It's from my new Pixie Lip Palette. It's this colour right here. And it's lovely. That'll be in a video at some point. Tonight's video is going to be, or today, is going to be April favourites. So, let's dive on in. The first thing I've been loving is this little mermaid toiletry bag that I got from Primark. I can't remember how much it was. But it, what, it's in one of my Primark haul videos if you want to check that out. So it opens up like so. It's got the two compartments and I have all the things in it, or most of the things in it, that I've been loving for this month. So let's dive on in. The first thing I've been loving is the Pixie Double Cleanse. And you get a solid cleansing oil and you get a cleansing cream so it looks like this out of the box I've got my bedroom light on because it's so dark today with this crappy weather so you got your step one which is the oil solid oil step two now the solid oil is absolutely amazing like see how well I've not got like crazy dark eye makeup on today but it will literally you'll have no trace of any mascara or eyeliner left it is all going when you use it it is fantastic it retails at 26 pounds i got mine from i got mine on ebay but it does retail for 26 pounds so as you can see this is a solid cleansing oil i don't want to waste it but as you can see it doesn't really have a scent to it it's just a really nice oil and you just put that all over your face dry it doesn't need time to absorb and then you take it off and it's fantastic. Then you've got the cream here and again once you've patted all your face dry from removing the, the oil, put that all over your face. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your auntie, fantastic, bish bash bosh and you don't need a lot, a little goes a long way. So I've been really enjoying using that. I will admit I tend to not use use it really when I'm not got makeup on because I like to use the cleansing oil only to remove makeup because it's proper good for that and I've got other cleansers that I can use just for cleansing. Next up is my ever so trusty love of my life, best bronzer ever and Too Faced damn well stopped making it. I have contacted them on Twitter, I have emailed them, they need to bring it back. I've done a blog post on my blog saying they need to bring it back, I've mentioned it in videos here. So Too Faced, come on. This is the Too Faced, as you can see it's old packaging, and it is the Peach Leopard Brightening and Perfecting Bronzer. And it looks like so, and it is stunning. I love it. Now. They still have the pink leopard print one in their collection. For whatever reason, they got rid of this. Maybe it wasn't so popular, but I think they should for sure bring it back because the pink one is too much. I got this on eBay and I've also got another one from eBay because I just love it and I can't get it anywhere. So I use it very sparingly, but I have been using it this month and it just reminded me just why I love it so much. Next thing I've been using for most of this month is the Tarte Sex Kitten palette. I got this from QVC, so if you check out my QVC video, you will see that. So it comes with a big mirror. There you are, you can see yourselves there. And it's got all these lovely shades. Now my two favourite shades are Feline and Cunning, which are the two middle shades. And it smells like chocolate, this palette. So this is really nice and I got this from in, in a set from Tarte from QVC because it was on offer. 
So I've been loving that. And next up, I've been alternating between two Chanel foundations this most of this month but today I've actually got a Bobbi Brown CC cream on because with this humid weather I am so over it honestly I can't deal with the pish and rain but then it's roasting sorry for this streak of light it's my bedroom light behind me so this is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Gel Touch Foundation SPF 15 in number 30 and it looks like so it comes with a little powder puff there it gets very dirty and it looks like this. Now this obviously being Chanel is pretty pricey, it's about 40 odd quid. You can pop this bit out to add in a refill but for whatever reason Chanel are not doing refills which sucks completely which means you have to go and spend 40 odd quid and buy a complete new one when you could be paying, I don't know how much the refills would be, but you could be paying for just the refill to pop back in here. Now, Bobbi Brown do cushion foundations and so do Lancome and some other brands and they have got refills. So I really think Chanel, you need to get your finger out and get refills. But I do love this. Carrying on with foundations, I also have the Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation SPF 25 in the bottle and I got this before the cushion one came out but this is in number 20. Now here's, it's not really a fact I suppose but a bit of advice I suppose. I assumed that because I'm number 20 in this one I'd be number 20 in this one but when I went to the counter the lady said I'd be number 30 in this. So it's worth sometimes going and asking rather than spending extreme amounts of money and then you've got the wrong shade. So I really love this foundation and this. They're pretty much the same, just in cushion version. And it is a really light, sheer foundation. So if you want loads of coverage, it's not the one for you. It smells amazing, but then all Chanel products seem to, because I've got a Chanel A cream and eye gel and they all smell nice as well but I like it because it's just lightweight feels nice in my skin and it works for me so I've been loving that and another colour of lipstick that I have been reaching for this month and it's probably a weird one because I would say it's probably more an autumnal kind of winter colour is the Bobbi Brown creamy lip colour number 5 in blue raspberry and as you can see it's like a mauve kind of colour. But I've just been loving it. It doesn't really have a scent. But it's just super, super duper creamy and really stunning on the lips. And I, I do love Bobbi Brown as a brand. And this mascara, I highly, highly recommend to absolutely everyone. I don't have one today because it was in the bag here for showing you guys. I've got the YSL mascara on today, which is one of my favourites. I think I might do a video at some point on mascaras I like but it's going to be pretty short because <laughs> there's only a few but this is the Maybelline Fusils Push Up Angel Mascara which looks like so and I saw Jamie Genevieve do a video on this and I was intrigued because I'm going to show you the brush in a minute and you'll get what I mean but it is absolutely fantastic I have hardly any lashes and I have a big gap there in my lashes where when I had chicken pox it took it away and it's really difficult to get right into them and right down to the roots but not anymore because this little bad boy is the bomb I seriously highly re recommend this foundation a foundation? this mascara to anybody at least go and give it a go I think it's maybe what six or seven pounds I think I got mine I think I got it in super drug but I do, I absolutely love this. I think this one, the MAC Extended Play, which I don't have just now, but I might have an empty of it because you know how MAC do that, take six items back and you get a free lipstick. The MAC Extended Play, this YSL one I've got on and this, they are definitely my three favourites and I like a Max, Fa Max Factor Masterpiece Mascara. It's really, really good as well. So, yeah, I highly recommend this. And last but not least is this e.l.f. 
under eye setting powder. I can't remember how much it is because I've had it a few months now and it's just a loose powder and you get a tiny little brush with it and it's for setting under your eyes and it is fantastic. It's so soft and it makes your eyes just, it, it just feels amazing on the skin and it really, really works. So I highly recommend trying that as well. I got that from Superdrug online because they do e.l.f. And my last favourite is a food item and it is the Eat Natural Fruit and Nut Bar Dark Chocolate with Cranberries and Macadamia Nuts. These are amazing. You have to try these. They are so, so good. They're a bit pricey for what they are to buy, but they are really, really tasty. So anyway, guys, that's the things I have been using and loving throughout August. I can't believe it's going to be September soon. But hey, ho. So I hope you have a fantastic day, whatever you're getting up to. I hope you'll continue to support my channel and come back for more. As I say, do hit that big red button. It's completely free and I will speak to you very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.